What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're going to discuss what it's like to own and live with a $500 car and what it really costs over a six month period. Stay tuned. Get down. Turn it up. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Steve with Cunningham Garage and that's Stuart Little in the background. Before we go talking about the car, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers that have been here so far. If you're new to the channel and you love the content, smash that subscribe button. The little button right down there. Just go ahead and hit that. You know you want to. Stick around. So let's go and talk about the car. Here we go, everyone. So this is Stuart Little, my cheap Miata project. It's a 1993 Mazda Miata LE. And we're gonna just start at the front. So where I got the car, give you a little backstory. This car sat in a field for like five years. The previous owner, the guy passed away and his family just pushed the car out into a field with just the windows down and it was awful. So when I got the car, there was no clutch pedal. The plug wires were screwed. So I changed plug wires, did an oil change filter, flushed the radiator, changed the fluid, had to replace the brake master and the, or the clutch master cylinder and the clutch slave cylinder, which is way down in the bottom down there. Um, so all together with the tune up, I also replaced the spark plugs too and the battery which is in the back so as far as up front everything to get this thing running up oh, plus plus a fuel pump forgot that so plus a fuel pump so the tune-up for the plug wires the plugs the coolant the oil the filter that was around 70 bucks so that wasn't i wasn't i was kind of surprised it cost that much but it wasn't too bad the clutch master and the clutch slave cylinder that cost me 40 bucks that was awesome then we go around to the side of the car when i got the car looks pretty nice now those were not on the car the car had three different wheels on it with flat tires the car was awful looking so these are newer nb miata wheels bolted right on they were great i got brand new toyo tires for them really sticky and they've been great ever since i put them on the car and the car looks really nice with them and they were not that color they were just spray painted black so i repainted the wheels to a gunmetal silver because i figured gunmetal silver and black and red would look nice and it pretty much does so let's go to the interior so here we are in the interior and as you can see the driver's seat is no bueno it's like i said in a previous video it's had too many taco tuesdays but i don't know if i'm gonna replace the seat because i don't know if i'm planning on keeping the car that long but that is new seat covers because these if you look they actually they unzip so you can actually replace the whole cover on the seat and a pair of new seats is like 250 bucks, so that's not too bad. The steering wheel is a little ripped up, so but I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't look that bad. Door panels look great. And if you're wondering why this thing has red interior, the 93 LE, there was only 1,500 of these made in the whole world, <laughs> as far as I know. I think there might be a little over... 1500 like 1503 i'm sure someone on here will correct me about that but yeah top does leak top does go up let me throw that up for you top is not in good condition it basically it if it's raining i might as well just put the top down it's i'll get less wet it's like a waterfall on me so that, <laughs> that's pretty bad so but it's easy to put down and it does have the glass rear window, so I'm happy about that, but it's the glass is not in good shape either. It's surprised it hasn't fallen out yet. And the car, if you were wondering, it has two, 238,522 miles. It does run pretty good. The radio, 
the radio has seen better days. And now we're gonna go around to the trunk. So I'm gonna pop that. And here we are at the disgusting trunk. I have not cleaned anything out in this thing. It was full of trash when I got the car and I'm just, I hate the trunk. I'm trying to stay away from it. But I did, you can't really see. There is a brand new battery in there. And the, I blocked my plate. I do have an antique plate on this car and it's freaking hilarious to have that. The only other problem is that part is broken, which I guess is a common problem. So we're gonna go back around to the front of the car. So this is towards the end of the video, but it's not the end. So don't be tuning out yet because I would love to know with you guys, I'm gonna go over everything I replaced, but real quick, I wanna know, put in the comments, have you, owned, have you ever owned a $500 car? If you have, tell me in the comments what it was, how much you paid for it, and was it awful or did it work out really well? <laughs> or what was the cheapest car you've ever owned? And how awful was it? So far, this car has been really good for me. I haven't really had any problems after I replaced a few things, but we're gonna go over that real quick. I So in the, in the, in the end, I replaced the spark plug wires, spark plugs, oil, filter, the coolant and the radiator, the clutch master, the clutch slave, and the fuel pump, the brakes, and the wheels and tires. So, like I already told you, the tune-up cost me about 70. The clutch system cost me about 40 bucks to fix. Those ri the rims, thank you Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> if you haven't been on there, that's where you'll find anything. Those cost me about $70. The tires only cost me 185. That's because I know a guy. <laughs> the fuel pump was 20 bucks on Amazon. So if you're keeping track, I don't, I'd have to calculate it up. I'll put it up on the screen somewhere maybe. Um, but yeah, if you can think of it real quick, tell me in the comments. But yeah, I just want to go over you guys, tell you how the car has been doing. It's been great. I love this little thing. I know you guys like watching it. And I'm going to make another video of it driving and show you of it running and things like that. So stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you guys later.